Hey Crackberry, Yester 18 here with Setup 101 Wi-Fi connection for BlackBerry handheld devices. Um, any newer BlackBerry devices, uh, no matter what carrier, is actually going to be incorporated Wi-Fi into those newer devices. Uh, if you're having trouble uh, setting up your uh, Wi-Fi connection, uh, if you're a new user, or if you uh, need help troubleshooting, uh, this tutorial should uh, help you out. Uh, when you first power on a device, um, you're going to notice uh, that the Wi-Fi connection uh, icon is not on display because uh, the Wi-Fi connection is currently turned off. Um, so if you're within a wireless network and you're ready to uh, set up the device, you want to click Menu, go to Manage Connections, and you'll see Wi-Fi is turned off. You want to go to set up Wi-Fi network. It's going to go through a setup wizard, uh, letting you use your Wi-Fi connection on a corporate network to send and receive email messages, visit web pages. Uh, you can choose to not show the introduction again. We'll select next. And your Wi-Fi connection options are scan for networks. It will go out and actually look for a wireless connection to connect to. Uh, you can manually add a network if you have the SSID uh, router name and number. Uh, push button setup is you can actually use on uh, Linksys and Belkin uh, routers and also some of the newer routers actually have that incorporated feature and your Wi-Fi options. Uh, so we'll select scan for networks and we'll choose to turn Wi-Fi on. It will then enable Wi-Fi and it will show any connections that are within the radius of my BlackBerry. My home connection I have already set up so it's going to show up as saved. Uh, but if we were to actually set up this new connection, we would select on it. We would then have to select what type of security, either WEP, etc. We then go and put in our WEP key and then select connect. Now I can tell you it's automatically going to go and fail because I already have the network connection already exists. Uh, to go through actually to show you once you actually do connect um, it will give you a completion message and you can also go and choose um, any of your uh, prioritize your Wi-Fi profiles and also uh, Wi-Fi hotspots um, that require registration. If you go into your Wi-Fi profiles, it will show all the saved Wi-Fi profiles that I currently have set up. Um, anytime you actually do create a new connection um, with a newer Wi-Fi network, it will save it and re automatically reconnect you if your Wi-Fi is already turned on. Um, you can go in and edit all the specific features of the Wi-Fi profile. You can rename it versus your keeping your regular SSID. You can change your band type, your security, your keys, and also your networking uh, information to automatically obtain an IP address and your connection mode. You go into your Wi-Fi options under your connections and you can see it's going to give your active Wi-Fi connection that you're currently connected to, uh, your checkboxes for enable profile, single profile scanning, uh, prompt me for a manual connection or login, and again your saved profiles. So once your uh, Wi-Fi connection is uh, enabled and uh, locked into your network, uh, you will see it will be displayed above the home screen, above the clock, and you'll also have a Wi-Fi signal that will be uh, lit up underneath your connection status. If the Wi-Fi uh, symbol is grayed out to like a light gray versus a bright white, um, your connection is either pending or its uh, authorization uh, is still going through. Um, if you uh, cannot get it to connect, uh, I would advise you to go in and check your uh, setup and make sure you have everything uh, fully enabled. So that's Wi-Fi Setup 101 for CrackBerry.com.